Hi church, my name is Lydia and I'm from Serbia. I'm a part of the Pastoral, Creative, Response and the YA team. I am also one of the full-time Audacious College students and I'll be bringing you the devotion today on my miracle. And I really want to encourage you and stir your faith. So back in 1995, my parents got married in September after they finished Bible college. And after six to 12 months, they really had a strong desire to have children. However, a lot of medical difficulties got in the way and the doctor said to them that they will never be able to have children. And that completely devastated them. But they believed that God can do the impossible. And they believed strongly for a miracle. But then time went by, two years went by, no miracle. Four years went by, no miracle. Six years went by and still no miracle. And they're like, God, what are you doing? When is this perfect timing of yours going to come? And they realized in those moments that they really needed to find joy in the Lord and um, really find that true joy in the Lord, whether God answers the prayers or not. But then in July in 2002, my mom said to my dad that she is going to throw out the rubbish uh, while he was watching football. But in fact, she went to the hospital to get a pregnancy test. And you know, my dad losing track of time. He's watching football, loving life. And, and my mum's in the hospital there waiting five minutes that feels like a lifetime for the results to come in. And finally, the results come in and the doctor said, oh, you will not believe it. Your pregnancy test came positive and you were going to have a baby. My mum was so happy. She was like, wow, God did a miracle. Start weeping, happy tears, just like ecstatic. It's like, wow, God, this is all you. This is amazing. How on earth am I going to explain this to my husband when I told him I'm going to throw out the rubbish? But in fact, I went to take a pregnancy test and it came out positive. But even after all that, my dad was absolutely so happy after my mum explained everything. And it was so, so good. And they were so happy, praising the Lord. They were like, oh my word, this is absolutely amazing. God did it. He did it. And they um, immediately went to call my grandparents and tell them good news. It was absolutely amazing how God did the impossible. But there are scriptures that my mum and dad really held on to during this time that I really want to share with you. And it says in Exodus 23, verse 25 to 26 in the New International Version, it says this, Worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you and none will miscarry or be barren in your land. I will give you a full life span. What a powerful word. Verse. Verse. <laughs> what a powerful verse. <laughs> Such an amazing verse. Then we've got 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18, where it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Whoo! That is such a powerful verse. See, I said it the right. I said it right this time. We've got Psalms 113 verse 9. It says, He settles the barren woman in a home as a happy mother of her children. Praise the Lord. And I really want to encourage you today that whatever miracle you're waiting for, God can do the impossible because God is a miracle worker and he can do anything at any point. And I really hope that you have an amazing day.